Okay, seventh grade. Um, today I have down for you to do wisdom, and but I'm also going to give you one more page. I'd like for you to do page 15 in your pace, and the reason for that is, is so we don't run out of time at the end of the year. We need to finish up this pace and do one more, and I don't think we want to go into the ninth week. So I'm going to probably the next couple weeks we're going to do um we're going to try to keep going with a good amount of pages some of these pages take so long to do that i hate to give you terrible much terrible much work um especially on your writing pages or something like that but i'm going to give you i want you to do page 15 yet today in your english so um remember your last pages you learned what a simile was a metaphor personification and a hyperbola. Remember a simile is when they use the words like or as. Something was like something else. Um, a metaphor is when you said something was something else, two unlike things, and you said they were something else. Um, and personification is where you take a lifeless object, um, the clouds, the flowers, whatever, and you gave them a, a human, or a, how do they word that? A human quality, or a lifelike quality, where the clouds cried, or the flowers smiled, or something like that. That's personification. And then a hyperbola is an exaggeration, where, um, what was the one they said? Um, my eyes about popped out or something like that. It's an exaggeration. So the first part of page 15 is words out of your Swiss Family Robinson book. And on the right, you are supposed to write if it's a simile, a metaphor, personification, or a hyperbola. So number one says, we are to perch and roost like birds. Okay, remember the one that says something is like something else? Remember what that was? That is called a simile. Number one is a simile. Number two says my heart was ready to break. Well, does our heart really break? What is the exaggeration? Which one is the exaggeration? A hyperbola. And number three says the cargo proved a rich, almost inexhaustible treasure. Was the cargo really a treasure? No, it was cargo. But it's saying the cargo was something else. Which one of, what is those? A metaphor. Number three is a metaphor. Number four says we felt the balmy breath of spring. Spring has breath? What word, which one says um, a lifeless object was given a human quality? Personification. Number four is personification. All right, you guys can finish that part. Jump down to number um, 13 to 19, and I'll just give you some examples. <clears throat> and I don't want you to use what I write, but I'll give you just some examples of some things that I have down here. Um, you're supposed to come up with your own um, simile, metaphor, personification, whatever, and they tell you what to use. Use a metaphor to describe a good book. So you could say the good book is a what? I have down the good book is a treat. Um, <clears throat> but in your own words, you can say the good book is what other? Unlike object, unlike a book, but it is something else. Use a simile to describe someone's smile. Someone's smile was like a what? Um, that's what they want you to do. Use a metaphor to describe an active young child. And you could say the active young child was a what? Or you could actually put in a person's name. Um, you're, you could say Hudson was a what? It's an unlike. Um, whatever you think of, it's not what he actually is, but you're using a metaphor. Personification to describe daisies in the field. The daisies in the field were, what were they doing? You can, you're going to give them a human, 
quality um, that you could say that the daisies in the field were what? That's kind of what they want you to do. Um, use a simile to describe a dark night. The dark night was like a... Use a simile to describe the stars at night. The stars at night were like what? And then a hyperbola to describe an embarrassing moment. I wrote, I was embarrassed, I have to death. I was embarrassed to death. But um, I didn't really die, but that's what they want you to do. You're supposed to write, I was embarrassed, what? Um, an exaggeration. All right, so do that page and your um, wisdom for today and you will be finished. Have a great day.